Chief. Chief. <laughs> anyway, today uh, I'm letting you guys. Uh, I, I want to test out the new camera here to see um, what how I go live with this camera and what it's capable of doing. Um, so, in order to do that, uh, I got Pete on the camera right now, and then we'll just walk around for a second and show you guys all the new stuff that we're doing to the boat. So one of the things is, we, I said it on the last video, put this new chair in, got the new carpeting in, and now Bev, follow me down here now. There's Daisy. <laughs> Okay. So some of the new things. One thing that happened yesterday. It just went off, so I can't. Chief, nothing went off. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I got my gold flag yesterday from America's Great Loop, and that will. We're right now we're in Florence, Alabama, to, but com, to complete the loop, I have to be in. Um, uh, I'm gonna wait until to mount this flag until I get to Homeport Marina. So I'm gonna check something out with the camera here. Just touch the screen. Oh, that's yeah. nice. That's awesome. All right, so Pete, follow me down here. Bev's been working on the windows. You can see that she's got that one done in the kitchen right there. And that's the project she's working on. As we make the transformation on this boat here um, to make it our boat, and then she did these these windows right here. These are for the bathroom to keep it private and also help keep the heat out. So you can see her back here. And she's working on these, a couple of windows in here. I'm gonna leave the front ports open because I love when I'm taking my nap uh, to look out those port windows, especially when the boat's moving, it's very cool. So she's just gonna do a couple of windows in here to keep the heat out and for privacy. So that's what she's working on. Me and Pete were supposed to work on the dinghy today because today is Pete's last day. And um, we were gonna pull the dinghy off today. I'm gonna let Pete get upstairs with the camera. The re reason this camera is so important too is because I want to see how glitchy it is. So, as we uh, today, one of our projects was to go out and uh, lower the dinghy into the water with uh, with the new. Uh, which we still could do maybe yeah, a little later. Yeah, in the afternoon we might be able to do it. But you guys can see out here, it's raining. raining pretty good. Yeah, and this morning we got hit by a piece of lightning that was unbelievable. And we'll see if it gets as busy as it was yesterday because it was just, it was crazy out here yesterday. There was speedboats, lots of bikinis. I should have turned the live video on. I could have had some bikinis on my uh, channel, but we didn't do it. But anyway, and then today I'm working on video. I got to work on the budget video so you guys know where we're at up to total budgets and stuff like that with fuel, uh, food, groceries, everything like that. Another uh, video I want to work on uh, while I'm here in Florence is the introduction to our house. Because um, so, we're living on this boat now full time and this is our house. We get that asked a lot, you know, where, where are you from? This is where we're from right here. This is our house. And I need to start telling our story of why, how we got here and why we got here. So I'll be working on those videos over the next coming days. And then I've got a few, uh, I've got a, actually a, quite a few list of videos that I want to work on for loopers or the potential loopers, the guys getting ready for the loop and all that stuff. Cause we've learned a lot. And one of the big myths about the loop is does it take, uh, you know, everybody says it takes a year to do the loop. This boat right behind me, look here, chief. This boat right behind me is a couple in the seaway right here. Um, were asking me yesterday, how long does it take to do the loop? And I told them, because the wife wants to do the loop and the husband wants to do the loop, but they're, you know, everybody's programmed that it takes a year to do the loop. Me and Beverly and Pete did the loop in less than four months. Pete's been with me for two months and then two months prior to that, it was me and Beverly on the boat. So to get to Florence, Alabama, to leave Alabama and to get back to to Alabama took us exactly four months, exactly to the almost to the day, uh, getting doing the loop. And we did we completed six thousand miles on a very slow trawler doing uh, you know five, uh, eh, I want to say five knots, about six to seven knots uh, is our is our cruise speed. 
and you just knock out 50 miles every day. That's I mean, and you can do it. So the the big myth that it takes a year to do the loop, you can do with the loop in any amount of time you want. You can take uh, two years, you can take a year, you can take six months, you can do it in four months like we did. So. And then uh, later on today, I'm going to work on the video, and I will get the budget video out today. Yeah, we'll get it. Out. We'll get the budget video out today for you guys. Anyway, I just wanted to go live here, test out the new GoPro. We came in here. We're excited to pick it up at here at Florence, and I'm going to end this video. Can you end the video there, Chief, or do I got to go end it from? I, 